Welcome to the Springer Materials User Guide 2017 edition. This presentation briefly summarizes the content of Springer Materials and demonstrates the functionalities of the platform showing how they can support material science research and development. Springer Materials is a research solution presenting curated materials property data. The platform covers many major classes of materials like metals and alloys, polymers and composites. Key property types include physical and chemical properties, material structures, and spectroscopic data. The Springer Materials platform covers over 3,000 different types of properties for more than 290,000 different types of materials. Specific data types include alloy phase diagrams, crystal structures, interactive tables and plots, and material profiles. Springer Materials content and functionality is updated on a quarterly basis. Springer Materials draws on many data sources to cover key areas in material science. Data on the structure of materials as well as on thermodynamics, surface science, materials analysis, and a large collection of physical and chemical property data are all available on the platform. The home page of Springer Materials lists the latest updates to the database and shows the different ways to search. It is possible to browse content by data collection and one can also browse book content where individual volumes are sorted by subject area. In addition to a text search, one can also search Springer materials by elemental composition, chemical structure, and by corrosion property. Let's start with a sample text search using the perovskite barium zirconate. We can refine the results in three ways. The first is by data source. For example, if we wanted information from the Landel Bernstein series, we can select that option. Unselecting the box will take us back to the original search results. Results can also be refined by discipline. For example, if we wanted data on the mechanical properties of barium zirconate, we can select mechanics. Next, we can further narrow down results by selecting specific properties. For example, clicking on phase diagram will take us to results with phase diagrams for this material. To search by element, click on the periodic table image on the main page. Doing so will bring you to an interactive periodic table where you can select individual elements. Let's use titanium molybdenum zirconium as an example. To search for mixtures, click on other elements after each selection. To bring up more detail information on a substance, click on the results shown to the right. This will then bring up results from the database which can be further refined. To search by chemical structure, click on the structure image search on the main page to bring up the drawing interface. Let's use benzo B thiophene as an example. We can use the drawing interface and the many tools that it offers to draw in the chemical structure. Having used these different tools to draw in the structure of choice, we can then search for the particular molecule by clicking the search button. Springer materials automatically include a substructure search and results are ranked according to structural similarity. A direct hit is counted as a 100% match, while other derivatives are ranked accordingly. 
Clicking on the View Substance profile will give us more detailed data on benzobethiophene. The profile shows at a glance which properties are listed in Springer Materials for this material. The Corrosion database can be searched by clicking on the Corrosion Search button on the home page. The database can be searched by material and or environment. Let's use hydrofluoric acid as an example. The results can be sorted by material and also by corrosion rating. Detailed information is given in each entry, and the result data with this detailed information can also be downloaded directly. Multiple materials can be selected to quickly show which materials are the most or least resistant in a given environment. Here, we can use 316 stainless steel and 420 stainless steel to compare the two and their behavior in hydrofluoric acid environment. Springer Materials has a vast collection of interactive crystal structures. Let's take titanium dioxide as an example. We can use the text search to directly search for the crystal structure of this compound. When found, we can directly download the crystallographic data in the SIF format. Many other details about the structure and experimental details are also provided. Citations for this and all other Springer Materials data types can be downloaded in multiple formats using the Cite This Content feature at the bottom of each document. With the 3D Interactive Structure Viewer, you can get a very detailed look at the unit cell, and you can also display multiple unit cells. The Structure Viewer allows for a number of measurements to be performed. For example, one can toggle the views of bonds between atoms, measure the distances between atoms, and also measure bond angles. Many other advanced features are available in the Crystal Structure Viewer. For example, if we want to view the van der Waals surface of this unit cell, we can do so. Once we have processed our crystallographic data, we can export this image in both JPEG and PNG formats. Interactive phase diagrams are another key feature of Springer Materials, which has one of the largest collections of binary and ternary alloy phase diagrams. Let's take molybdenum titanium zirconium alloy as an example. We can search for this very quickly using the elemental search and selecting phase diagram from the property box. Hovering the cursor over the phase diagram shows the exact composition of that particular point. Clicking on a point will let you record it. Recorded points can also be deselected. The marked up diagram can then be exported. When available, more extensive information on the given material is also presented. Springer Materials has thousands of adsorption isotherms covering dozens of adsorbents. Let's search for the adsorption of carbon dioxide to Norit RB1. 
Using the text search, we can very quickly find the data we are looking for. The absorption data can be directly downloaded when available. Direct links are provided to absorption isotherms on the same absorbent at different temperatures when available. More details about the experimental parameters for the adsorption isotherm are also provided. Springer Materials Interactive is a set of advanced functionalities for visualizing and analyzing material property data. Initially, these features are covering thermophysical property data from the digitized Landolt Bernstein series. New materials, properties, and functionalities are deployed to Springer Materials Interactive as they become available. Let's start by looking at interactive data plots. Let's use the isobaric expansivity of free methylphenol and quinolone as an example. In this plot, one can zoom into a particular region. Having set the filters, it is also possible to return to the original data plot. The data points for the zoomed-in region are shown below, along with links to the original primary and secondary data sources. The data can be exported both in terms of the raw data as a CSV file or as an image. Citations to this data can also be exported in common formats. Springer Materials Interactive allows for a side-by-side -side comparison of materials properties. Let's use surface tensions as an example. When we select 2-hydroxy-2-phenyl-acetonitrile, we can view the interactive data plot. To this very same plot, we can add other materials by typing their names into the Compare Substances field. For example, isobutyl cyclopentane can be added to this data plot. We can also compare this data with that of benzamide. Presently, up to three materials can be compared. Another feature of Springer Materials Interactive is the ability to search for materials with a specified property value range. For example, let's search for materials with a refractive index greater than 1.7. We can type this search directly into the text search field. The results from Springer Materials Interactive show us all of the available materials fitting the criteria. In this case, we have data for both pure substances as well as for mixtures. Further information about Springer Materials can be found on these sites. For technical questions about the content and functionalities of Springer Materials, please feel free to contact directly your local product manager. The Springer Materials team has extensive scientific training and is happy to assist you.